I realized was in very deep trouble. And I remember the family describing her to me as being perfect. And for my colleagues and I, that is always one of those words that scares me to death whenever I hear it. Because the weight and the burden that that young woman was carrying, and what I ended up discovering was that she was coming. And she was cutting on her midriff, uh, which she shared with me eventually. But um, basically, she was struggling to find a way to not have to carry that weight of being burdened. And she was brilliant, extraordinary, unique. But the weight that had been put on her versus her brother, who was not perfect, and what did I do? I worked with the family to be able to have them begin to see her as not perfect. And the brother is perhaps more having some strengths they hadn't viewed. And for her, it's like when the weight began to lift, she began to find her way more in seeking social and healthy relationships versus isolating she had been doing. So, there's a question in the back. Um, I work with the foreigners and I'm next to all of the group. And um, I find myself quite often compensating um, for something that Dr. Gary Davis calls like the welfare for teachers kind of mentality. In the educational world, like, oh, you've got the gifted kids, you know. Your job is so easy, and you know, and I, I, you know, you're in this situation where it's like, you know, there's a study left behind by design, and it's like, you know, these kids are being left behind by the design of this, the environment where they, where, where they are. And it's like, you know, I find myself struggling to, to rationalize like that they do have needs that need to be met. You know, and these are among my colleagues, well-educated, well-trained. You know, like refuting that, not not necessarily refuting, but just like justifying that they do have these unique needs, and it's it shouldn't be an easy job. You know that um, it should be very challenging to meet their needs. You know, like I, I guess my question is to you, like how do you address those kind of off the cuff comments from your colleagues? Like, you know that that. Your job is the easiest in the world, and these kids, you know, you're just skating through your school year. I don't sell for a day. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, your, your question is very similar to similar to yours, but that is apparent. That we live in, you're talking about the school system, you're talking about the, the, the parental world, the world of parents. We have, without the, at the risk of sounding grandiose, but you have a chance to begin to change in the world in which you live it. Because it's actually true. People will say that. Teachers will say that to you. Parents will say that. You know, make comments like that. You can either go along or you take a stand and say no. No, the world is not, the world is round. It is not flat. Well, I have this new I just tell you all. But I just came back from, no. I was, Sandy asked me if I would do this. And I said yes. And in the process of talking, She's telling me about something that happened in one of the classes. It was a science class or math, some kind of class, that they had they had Skyped someone in Antarctica, a researcher in Antarctica. And the kids were talking to the kids, to the researcher in Antarctica. I was just blown away by that, particularly since three days later I went to Antarctica. <laughs> and I met with some researchers, I don't know who they talk to. But it's little things like that that begin to say, it's a way of saying, we're going to say no, we're not accepting the way society looks at gifted kids or teachers or parents. We're going to, I started to say, I'm going to do something different. Not a part of diversity training. Very similar. 
similar, but as a parent, I've experienced other parents' comments in a negative way about my child being gifted or about the school that he attends. And as a parent, how do I, whether my child is there or not, but particularly if he is, how do I address that negativity that I get in, oh, he goes to this school, or oh, he's gifted, in protecting him and honoring who he is, and yet, you know, and, and do what you're saying and create a different society, but what's the appropriate response in that moment? Feels like 